Hello YouTube, this is Axis0096 um, with my first video of 2020. In other words, welcome to the new decade. And as many fans know, I don't know if this is true about most of the canon going forward. Please pardon the uh, Christmas tree over my head. I'm filming currently my living room in my living room because well, let's just say my den is kind of a mess. You know, New Year's mess. So I had a party, and things kind of got underhand. Don't worry, we weren't drinking while flying. Anyways, as many fans know, 2020 marks a change in the early foundings of the Federation. I uh, don't know how many of you all follow the Deep Canon, but apparently the Universal Century started in use in A.D. 2045, according to some old Bandai documents that a lot of fans still consider canon. I guess there's a faction that kind of hedge on to that date is the switchover at Laplace from 2045 to UC Triple Oh, one. And uh, I guess that's how the Universal Century um, began. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, you see Triple O One. Now, this is just a speculation video and a hope for the new year. I was going to throw that out as a neat little trivia bit. How that here it is a few days after the new year. And at this time in UC 001, they were doing the terrorist investigation into the bombing and destruction of the Laplace station. And, you know, I'm going to get this out of my system really quickly. According to some stuff I've read on the Gundam Wikipedia site, I don't know how covered this is on YouTube. I may be the first guy, but Cardia, the uh, Prime Minister of the time, Ronan Ricardo Marcinist, apparently had a brother named George Marcinist who was jealous of his older brother being Prime Minister of the Federation. So he hired Siam, this group of terrorists, to take him out of the equation which is why they intentionally sabotaged their ship so that there were no witnesses. What George Marcinus did not count on was Siam Viss survival. And that basically is an untold tale, I believe. A lot of people have missed it, and apparently it's canon. I don't understand why a lot of people... Don't gloss over it, or why was it even mentioned in Unicorn? It's part of the Unicorn back mythos. I don't know. But, thumbs up, maybe? <laughs> Anyways, this is my New Year's resolution and wish. Not going to do a resolution. I'm going to do a wish. I hope... With the announcement of us moving back into the Universal Century to some degree, this lights a fire under several people's butts in Sunrise to develop um, you know, everything from, you know, I, I love the fact that Hathaway's Flash is finally coming as a trilogy. It was originally posted as a quadrilogy. I don't know why they're shorthanding it. But I want to see Master Grades of the Penelope, even if without the flight armor, the Odysseus Gundam. I also want to see the Zai Gundam as well. The uh, RX-105 Zai Gundam. And... Pardon me. Had to drink something. If we also get another grunt suit, I'd like to see the Messier. The Messier has never been depicted in canon practices. And I also believe that in the earlier trailer, we may have seen a heavy gun. Now, if they incorporate a black heavy gun, 
like the first deployment proto heavy gun. That may be a direct nod that we are going to go back into the F-90 and F-91 timeline. A lot of you guys remember the first trailer. There was this Jetta, or, you know, this base jabber-looking flying unit going behind Hathaway's. He's walking down this beach, and this black suit that looked too bulky to be a Jesta on it. To me, it looked like a heavy gun. It's not a hardy gun. It's not obviously a javelin. Those suits are far later in the universal century. We're talking 50 plus years from here. This is UC single O105. This is trailer analysis, by the way. And that's UC153 at the earliest that we see the javelin. And by then it's outdated. So we won't even see the javelin in any degree, for another 20 years, 20, 30 years, much less the Hardy or James gun. So I would say we will see the prototype of the heavy gun, which it said was around at least at this point. Um, I would speculate the heavy gun is a brand new mobile suit. Something that wasn't shown in F-91. If you remember, in F-91, they said that the Jagans were already 30 years old. Which indicates that if the heavy gun was a fairly new mobile suit, but it was still a couple of decades old, that indicates that we may see the arrival of the heavy gun. Maybe even getting a master grade. I don't know. Maybe. But here's my wish. If we see it confirmed as a heavy gun, that black suit that's on the Jesta, not a messier, that will indicate we may see a rewrite and possible expansion of the F-91 series. We may see, um, gosh, where are they? We may see Stiletto F-91. We may see... Gundam Formula F90, maybe F89, earlier Mobile Suit Gundam series. Even if they're done as OVA series, I would watch them. And then hopefully, oh my goodness, I would pay to see Crossbones. And even things beyond Victory Gundam, Gundam like Crossbones Gundam Dust. At the time of the era of warring space states. That almost sounds like we're leaning toward the canonization of G, uh, the G Savior. Don't quote me on that one. If they do canonize G Savior at some point, I sorry to anybody who hates G Savior. I'm a little eh, meh on it. But if they can in it, they better give a good reason as to what the state is and what led to all that hodgepodge at the very end of the Federation. What would be neat is if they also kept going beyond Crossbones Dust. I want them to reach UC 205. That would be interesting. The start of the second universal century. Third. Excuse me. Third universal century. You have to remember, we're at the big dawn of the second universal century right now. If we make it through three, that would indicate things got a lot worse, maybe technologically. Who knows? I don't know. There might even have been a second one-year war later in the, t in the uh, UC-200s. That would be a shocker. But uh, that's kind of what I wanted to go over in this video. Kind of a New Year's wish, speculation on where Sunrise might go with Gundam over the next one to ten years. I know that on Viz Media, on uh, Right Stuff, the only Gundam they have to re release this year is Mobile Suit Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. 
I have received correspondence from them indicating that it will only be released as a double package. Meaning, if you want it, you're going to have to pay probably $300, maybe $200 or $300, maybe to get both Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. There will not be separate individual box set releases. I don't know why, but unfortunately, I actually liked Gundam Seed a lot better than I like Gundam Age. Just my preference. You can send me the hate mail in the comments if you like. But honestly, my favorite character has changed from being Kira to being Athran Zala. I felt he was always underutilized. Just my opinion. And he was no Quattro Pagina, that's for sure. Anyways... This is Axis0096 wishing you guys a happy new year and hopefully you don't get Bernie Burgers. Luckily, yeah, this is Axis0096 saying happy new year.